Hello everybody this is Mindu Chandra Mandal teacher of English today i am going to recite one of the important poem from the ninth class textbook the river let me start river river little river bright you sparkle on your way over the yellow pebbles dancing through the flowers and foliage glancing like a child at play like a child at play river river ring river a new rush through rough and small louder foster brawling leaping over rocks by rose banks sweeping like impetuous youth like impetuous youth river river brimming river broad and deep and endless time seeming still yet still in motion tending onward to the ocean just like mortal prime just like mortal prime river river headlong river down you dash into the sea see that line hath never sounded see that sail hath never round like eternity like eternity after recitation of the poem let us know about the poet of the poem the river carolyn anna bowles was the poet laureate of britain she was born in 1786 and died in 1854 she wrote various other works including chapter and churchyard and tales of the factories the river is a poem which describes a river in all its vitality and splendor let us know a brief introduction of the poem the poem river describes the beauty of the river in all its glory the flow of the river shows the journey of life from birth to eternity the poem has a philosophical overtone the different stages of life like the childhood youth old age and eternity compared with the various stages of the river with the help of different images used in this poem the little river swelling river brimming river and headlong river are compared with the childhood youth and old age and eternity of the human life let us know the first stanza i will recite the first stanza first then give an explanation of this poem river river little river bright you sparkle on your way over the yellow pebbles dancing through the flowers and foliage glancing like a child at play let us know the explanation of the first stanza oh little river you sparkle bright on your way as you move along your way you dance over the yellow pebbles you glance through the flowers and leaves of trees you dance throughout your way like a little child at play let us know the second stanza river river swelling river on you rush through rough and smooth louder faster brawling leaping over rocks by rose banks sweeping like impetuous you oh, swelling river you rush through rough and smooth ways you are louder faster clashing and hurling you move fast roughly and smoothly over the rocks and the banks where roses grow your movements is very similar to a hasty youth stanza 3 river brimming river broad and deep and still as time seeming still yet still in motion tending onward to the ocean just like mortal prime oh overflowing river 
You are broad and deep and silent at time. Though you seem to be motionless, you are inclining towards the ocean just like human in the best stage of his life span. Let us know about the fourth stanza of this poem. River, river, headlong river, down you dash into the sea. See that line hath never sounded, see that sail hath never rounded, like eternity. O oh, river, you are reckless, and you rush down into the sea. The sea depth has never been measured by a whited land. None has gone by the sea completely around the sea to be compared to eternity. Let us know the rhyming scheme of the poem. This poem comprises four stanzas. Each stanza follows the rhyming pattern A, B, C, C, B. The first line of the first stanza ends with the river. The second line ends with way. Third line ends with dancing. Fourth line ends with the word glancing. And the fifth line ends with play. If you take the river as A, then way as B, then dancing, glancing, similar sounds, therefore it's a C, C, then play, again it's B, then the rhyming pattern that it created is A, B, C, C, B. And the second, third and fourth stanza also follows the same rhyming pattern. Let us know the imagery used in this poem. Yellow pebbles, flowers, foliage, brawling, brimming, similarly dust into the sea, had long river all are the imageries used in this poem let us know what are the figure of speeches that are used in this poem if we go through this poem we find alliteration is widely used in this poem let us see on you rough through rough and smooth here the word rough and rough creates the alliteration as these lines begins with the consonant sound r and the sound is repeated at the initial position of the words. Similarly, over rocks by rose banks sweeping, here the rocks and rose begins with the consonant sound, therefore alliteration is created here. Similarly, seeming steel yet steel in motion, seeming steel and steel are begins with the sa sound, which are the consonant sounds, therefore alliteration is used here. Down you dash into the sea, down dash is also the alliterations. See that line hath never sounded, see sounded begins with the consonant sound sa. See that sail hath never rounded, your see and sail begins with the consonant sound sa and sa is repeated at the initial position of the sounds in this line. Therefore, the alliteration is created here. Similarly, the simile is also one of the part of this poem. See that line hath never sounded like eternity. The word like gives a comparison between the sea and see that sail hath never rounded the sea and the eternity here.
Hey. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Please like and subscribe my YouTube channel.